I'm going to show you three locations for farming predator hides and supplies. Starting with just supplies, there's a little unnamed fishing village in the southeast of the Itzahara map, not far from the Saltwind Estate. If you've already cleared that, you can fast travel there. Then just head on down the coast to this unnamed fishing village. The first time you go there, there will be about 15 Mongols there that you'll need to kill. And once you dispatch them, you can start farming supplies. This village represents an unlimited supply of them, starting with this chest behind these two carts on the beach here. Then the first tent to the left will have another chest inside on the left side. I'm using the Inari charm to boost supplies looted, so make sure you have that active. There's lots of videos on YouTube on how to get that charm. I'm not gonna cover it here. Next to this tent is another tent with a chest on the right side. I get about 25 supplies per chest, plus the charm bonus, and that amount varies. Once you loot these three, restart your last checkpoint and repeat the process. Just keep doing this until you're sick of it or you think you have enough supplies to last you for a while. Don't do a save and restore game. Always use the restart last checkpoint to keep the supplies flowing for you here. Next up is the little outpost of the rushing water crossing in the south central part of the Itzahara map. It's a good spot to farm predator hides. For me, I had already cleared this camp out before I knew about this trick. You don't want to clear this camp if you want to farm predator hides here. When you approach the camp from the south, there should be a bear fighting with Mongols. Either wait until they kill it or just kill it yourself and then loot the hide. The camp is linear in layout, so just run up through the camp until you come across another group killing a bear. Again, kill the bear and loot it. Now let the Mongols kill you. You'll retain the hides looted and will respawn just outside the camp ready to repeat the process. If you kill the Mongols, the bears won't spawn here anymore. I'm actually not sure that this location works as of November 2022 in the director's cut on the PS5. When I cleared this camp, I was unaware of its farming use and there were no bears here, so your mileage may vary. Our final location will fulfill both your predator hide and your supplies farming needs. As an added bonus, this farming spot will allow you to practice your standoff and stance switching skills, as well as having the potential of earning you skill points and legend increases, depending on how much time you want to burn doing this. At the northern part of the Itzahara map, at the center of the map, on the northern shoreline, is a fox den. Go find it and do the shrine honoring dealio. That way you can fast travel to the fox den. Now, fast travel to the fox den and make sure you're full up on arrows. And while it's not required, they can make things go a bit faster for you. Once back at the fox den via fast travel, we can see over here on this beach area that something is happening. One of two events will randomly spawn there. Either a group of Mongols with a peasant hostage or two Mongols fighting a bear. For the hostage event, you can do a standoff. I run over to this sandbar and then go into stealth mode and slowly approach like this. Doing this in stealth will ensure that the game creates a standoff offer. If you just run over here, there's a chance you won't get the standoff offer. There'll be between four and eight Mongols there. After you kill them, you can free the hostage and they'll typically give you 50 supplies as part of an unskippable cutscene. 
you'll get a small sliver of an increase to your legend status and obviously that adds towards gaining skill points and adding to your resolve and overall health. I loot the Mongols after the cutscene because the cutscene seems to linger a bit after it looks like it's done and it will prevent you from fast travel until it's actually done. Along the shore over here can also randomly spawn one or two bamboo or yew plants that you can farm as well. The other scenario is the two Mongols fighting a bear. You can see that if it's a standoff or the bear scenario from the fox den pretty easily from here. Again, I run from the den over this sandbar and I typically run up on this rock here and wait for an outcome of the fight. I notice that if one of the Mongols is an archer, the bear will usually win. You can do a standoff with the Mongols after they kill the bear, or just kill them with arrows. If the bear wins, he'll be low on health, and usually one arrow will finish him off. Once you run over, you can get your predator hides and whatever stuff the Mongols drop, harvest any bamboo or you, and then fast travel back to the den. No cutscene to deal with here. Okay, that's it. I hope this guide helps some folks out there. I know this is a two-year-old game, but it's the holidays and I suspect a lot of new players will be popping up when they get the game for Christmas. Okay, if you like the video, please click like as that helps other folks find it. And until the next video, Take care.